We had an emergency break in our force main right in downtown Newport on Long Wharf, something we hadn't planned for, and so we needed an emergency response to fix the leak. With the failure of the force main, at least a good portion of Newport would have been without sewerage. We've had untreated sewerage going into the bay, so the longer that went on, the greater the risk for contamination of the bay, and you know, the greater the violation for us, the greater the hazard for the city. Immediate response by someone who actually knew what they were doing to mitigate that overflow was really essential. We called Joe Brito because we've done business with him before. It was a holiday weekend. From the time they called until we had personnel on site was no more than 45 minutes. We began analyzing what we thought their problem was and we collaborated with their engineers and our people to come up with an immediate response plan. There were no valve shutoffs between here and the plant almost two miles away. So then it became apparent that we'd need a bypass of over 9,000 feet just to restore the surge flow and mitigate any flow out into the bay. One of the determinations was that rather than following the existing pipe route to the plant, a more direct point-to-point -point line of attack was to go along the railroad tracks. I was home on Saturday and got a phone call from a guy named Joe Brito who said, I've got to talk to you about the railroad. Well, the railroad right-of-way is a dedicated piece of real estate that runs basically from downtown Newport right to the sewer plant, so it seemed to be the logical place for the pipes to go. The difficulty is that with the railroad tracks, you can't put heavy machinery out there with rubber tires, the kind of equipment that he would normally use. Joe and his foreman and his supervisors worked out the idea of uh, fusing the pipe together at one site into 1,300 foot lengths that we would then haul by train all the way out to the sewer plant. Ingenious, and it worked very well. And this was another example of CB Utilities' ingenuity in terms of seeing a need, solving a problem, just like that. Within a 24-hour period, we had 14,000 feet of pipe that was delivered by Godwin to our laydown area. The following day, we had the balance of the pipe delivered to build a 27,000-foot system to pick up the pump station at Long Wharf to the treatment plant up on Coddington Highway. In a six-day period, we built approximately 32,000 feet of bypass, picking up three pump stations with approximately 12 to 14 large pumps from Godwin the size anywhere from a small Volkswagen to the size of small diesel dump trucks to move 32,000 feet of bypass in a 48-hour period as far away as Ohio is remarkable. To have this system fused and up and running within a seven-day window working 12-hour shifts, 24-hour days with a complement of probably 24 to 30 people was pretty huge, but we were able to measure up the task cooperatively and jointly with Godwin. Godwin has worked with us on other large emergency projects. This is probably one of the largest, most difficult that we've jointly and collectively taken on. But the response time by Godwin and the materials in their stockyard were unprecedented. We own a lot of pumps and a lot of pipe. We are emergency based. Our mission is to respond with urgency. And we shipped in pipe from four of our branches of the 25 that we have strategically located around the United States. It's been kind of design on the go, more even so than design build. Everybody has worked together, it's been efficient, there hasn't been lags. Equipment arrived when it was supposed to arrive. I've never worked with a group of individuals as dedicated and clearly committed to excellence as CB Utilities. They did the work that was required, they did it without hesitation, and they did it in an unbelievably expeditious and professional manner. Not a man on the crew ever would say, oh, that's not my job, or I won't do that. They understood that this was an emergency, that this had to be dealt with immediately. It was just a joy to be part of this crowd. It's a motivated bunch of guys, and the guys like what they're doing. Every day that we lose any kind of business downtown here is going to infuriate the business population. Right now, there's a great sense of confidence that this is moving as quickly as possible. And in our case, since our economy is so dependent on tourism, this, of course, happens right in the center of our central business district. Timing is really critical, so it takes a company that knows what to anticipate, has the heavy equipment and the skilled personnel, I think, on board so that the response can be quick and effective. I wouldn't want to be a trial balloon for a company that, for the first time, was trying to figure out what to do. The public reaction unanimously has been extraordinary applause for the quick response. Across the street from us, we have vacationers staying at the nearby hotel. These pumps are our critically silent pumps. Since we've been here, we have not had one complaint for noise. I've heard nothing but good comments about the professionalism of the company, how quickly and how safely they've got the bypass up, and 
confident in what they're seeing that there's a plan of attack here to get this resolved. Very positive. The portable capability of our equipment, our automatic self-priming pumps, was sort of the advent of the beginning of municipalities understanding that they can take on very large bypasses. In years gone by, it would be shut off, dig and replace. The fact that the infrastructure and the pipes are aged has brought on the need for these types of services. They deteriorate and there's potential for environmental liability. With CB Utilities and Joe Brito's experience, with our experience and capabilities, it gives the towns and the municipalities, the utilities, the owners, the confidence that large volumes of sewage can be transferred successfully, therefore avoiding what could be a major environmental disaster. We don't feel there isn't anything we can't tackle together with our resources. We're going to be asking our council to consider avoiding a bid process simply because we need emergency service by a company that's capable of doing it. So I guess that's a testimony to our satisfaction with the company that's here.